Hi everyone, and in this video, we're going to be talking strictly about sublimation. So I'm going to be showing you how to sublimate on a 100% polyester t-shirt. So I'm going to be showing you the printing settings, the type of paper, I'm going to be showing you the tools and resources that you will need, and we're going to start right now. Welcome back to the channel and I want to thank you so much for stopping short for another tutorial video with me. Alright, so before we get into sublimating the shirt, I want to give you the process of doing this. I want to tell you some of the tools, some of the items that you will need. Firstly, you're going to need some ASAP paper. This is very, very, very important. So you're going to need some ASAP paper or you can get some sublimation paper. There are different brands and there are different types. So make sure you have some sublimation paper. I highly recommend the ASAP paper. It works really great for me and I think it will work great for you also. You're going to need some butcher paper or some parchment paper. And I am going to tell you exactly and show you exactly why you're going to need this paper. I'm going to be using the HPN Signature Series heat press from heat press nation and i'm going to be using my epson workforce 7710 printer which i converted into a sublimation printer so i have my sublimation inks in there what i'm going to do is to leave all of that information here on the side of the screen for you so you can use this when you are sublimating onto your shirt most of all in terms of temperature and time i'll be using about 400 fahrenheit and I'm going to be pressing it for about 60 seconds. So let's jump in to the first step. All right, so we are here in the Silhouette Studio program. I've dragged my image into the program and I'm going to be printing from the program. Now, what I'm going to do is just line up my image with the mat. And uh, for my width in this image, I'll be using 11.944. And in terms of the height, I'll be using 8.149 and you can see those values up here. Uh, we can go into page setup. So you can see that I'll be using a, a paper size of A4 borderless. There are many different sizes, but I choose to use the A4 um, borderless. I'm gonna be using my Epson um, 7710 workforce printer. Let's check our printing settings itself. So when I click on print, I can see clearly that I'm going to be using up as much as the paper as possible. Our next step will be to set our print quality. All right. So in terms of setting your print quality, I like to go to every single um, section or field in here to make sure everything is set. However, if you take a look here where it says presets, you can actually preset your settings personally for you so you can create your settings preset them for you so that whenever you come back you don't always have to be changing but for the purpose of this video i'm going to be going through to show you so for my printing settings i'm going to be using the paper source here which is paper and cassette i'm going to be using for uh, my medium type i'm going to actually use premium presentation paper mat and uh, I'm going to be using best quality. Now, you want to make sure that you mirror your image. This is very, very important. So make sure to mirror your image. My color options is okay. Everything else is okay here. So my next step will be to press on print and let's see how this image comes out. All right, so our image is completed. It's finished printing out. And uh, you can see the colors are looking really nice. But at the same time, it looks kind of fady. It looks kind of light. And this is what normally happens with sublimation ink. It prints out light and fady. But when you apply the heat press 
onto the sublimation paper and ink and onto the shirt, the colors will come out rich. So what I'll try to do is to put a comparison of this image right now, plus the one we saw on my computer earlier. So we will see that the two of them are showing two different colors. And after we press this onto the shirt, we should see a big difference. All right, so it's time for us to sublimate onto this polyester shirt here. And earlier we spoke about paper, butcher paper, parchment paper, or regular paper. Now I have no more butcher paper or parchment paper, so I'm gonna be using some eight and a half by 11 paper and also just some standard paper. And what I'm gonna do is actually place one sheet over my plate here because we do not want the ink to seep through. This is the reason why we are, we are using paper. I'm gonna place my shirt over the heat press plate. I'm gonna just press it for just about two to five seconds, just to take out some of those wrinkles. You wanna get majority of those wrinkles out. Next, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some more paper and I'm gonna place this paper inside of the shirt. The purpose for this is because once we apply this image to the front of our shirt, when the heat hits the ink and the paper, what will happen is that the ink will seep through and go right away through the front part of the shirt into the back. And we don't want the front and the back having ink all over. We just want the front to have ink. So we're gonna place some paper inside of the shirt to the exact point where we are gonna put our image. Now that I have my paper in there, my next step now would be to align my image on my shirt. And if you haven't seen before, here we go again. We have our image and we are going to align it on the shirt right in the middle on the chest itself. And normally you can use a ruler if you want to. Normally four inches from the neck down, around four inches will work. So you wanna make sure that everything is intact. And if you're not sure, do not commit to pressing it if you are not sure. Make sure to measure twice, press later. So you can measure from the end to make sure that everything lines up exactly where I want it to. All right, so we get in there. We need to adjust it a little bit more. And you can always take a look at the middle of the shirt if you're not sure, just to make sure you have it centered correctly. So once I have placed my image here, the next step will be to apply some heat tape to this um, design on the shirt so it would not move. And if you're getting value from this video, please go ahead and smash that like button there and share so others can also get the same value that you are getting. So we have placed our heat tape onto the shirt. We have everything lined up. Now we're gonna use two more pieces of paper to cover it up. I'm gonna send it in and we're gonna be pressing at 400 Fahrenheit for about 60 seconds. Sometimes you can do 375 um, degrees for 60 seconds. It all depends on your testing and what works best for you. All right, so our shirt is finished and the moment of truth you have been waiting for we're gonna peel this off wow wow and I want you to take a look at the image on the shirt and the image we have here the image on the shirt and the image we have here so take a look at the image we have we had onto the paper and look at our shirt now. So what happened is that the ink transferred from the paper 
onto the shirt. Now we are going to take out that paper that was inside because we, we placed this paper in here so it would not bleed through the shirt. Now let's take a look at the back of our shirt to see if we have any ink. No ink. It has not bleed through. It is just only at the front. So here we go. So we are completed and I, I would have shown you everything step by step. Now tell me what do you think of the final product, of the final result. Take a look. What do you think about this shirt? What do you think about the sublimation process? Leave all of your comments down below in the comment section. I want to thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like, share and subscribe and stick around for more tutorial videos. And I'll see you in the next video.